Now that we understand how to batch render, let's go ahead and talk about using bot in the context of queue. So here in the campaign, we can see that each job has an assignment to a satellite and each job has a render status as well. Now, all of these are set to ready. At any given time, I can change however many jobs that I want. So if I click this, for example, I can change all of the jobs on this page. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the hamburger menu here and then say set render status to done and say yes, I'm sure. So now all of these are set to done. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is set some of them to ready. I'll just click on this one and this one and maybe this one and this one. Go back to the hamburger menu and say set render status to ready. Yes, I'm sure. So now we have only four of them are set to ready. We know that Templator is connected to this particular campaign. So all we have to do is enable the bot because we know we're on this machine and these jobs are assigned to this machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do enable bot. And actually before that I do that, let's bring up the output again. And this time let's go ahead and delete all of these outputs and hit enable bot. What should happen is these jobs here should change from ready to processing to done after bot does its thing. So let's wait until it does its first polling to the campaign and we should see it react to the render status of each of these ready jobs. So you can see that it found one, now it's set to processing on that first one, doing the processing and once it's done, it's gonna set it to done. And then now it's gonna to go to the next one, that one's set to processing. And if we were to scroll down here, we can see that that one's Abraham Lincoln. And now this one's gonna be Frederick Douglass and that one's right there. There's Frederick Douglass. And then we've got I am pay as the last one in our set of four that we set to ready. So that's effectively it. That's all you have to do. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is just disable the bot and bring this up to the forefront. Now we're gonna take a look at how we can use more than one satellite to process jobs in a queue campaign. I'm gonna go ahead and swipe over to this virtual machine that's running Windows. And I've also got After Effects in there and Templator 3. As well, I've opened up the name cards AEP file. And what we're gonna do is register this machine with Q. We've done this before, so we're gonna go ahead and click on Preferences, click on the Q Configuration button here. It takes a little bit of time, but essentially what happens is Templator communicates to Q and then we get information back from Q and then that informs this dialogue right here. So the organization key, as I mentioned, comes from the account area of your profile. I've already entered it here. And we're gonna go ahead and just click on register. What'll happen is information about the machine will go up to Q and then it'll tell me that there is a new Q satellite that's been registered and here's the ID. I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. And we can see that it's registered because we have some of this information coming down from our Q account. And I believe if we click on this, we can see whether or not that's actually created. So let's go ahead and click on satellites. And there we go. There's our Aholiab Win 10. That's the name of this virtual machine. You can see that it is inactive. And if we open it up, there's no host info or an engine info. That data comes in when you authorize it. So let's go ahead and just close that and click authorize. And that's gonna send up the information about the machine to Q, and then it will send back the fact that it's authorized, there we go. Now it's authorized, if we go back to the Q listing right here, we have to reload it just to get this label to show that it's active instead of inactive. There we go. Now when we open it up, we can see all the information about this machine is right here, it's authenticated. We have a long lived token so that we can ensure this machine can get access to the data. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel and click OK. Now what we're gonna do is make sure that this template is connected to our Q campaign that we've been working on. So we go over here and we click on the Q emblem and the batch assets group. That's gonna bring up the Q campaign setup dialog and we're gonna click on the screencast demo and click link campaign. So let's just make sure that data is coming through. So we're gonna go ahead and click on our magnifying glass here and go to the Q inspector just to make sure that we are getting data and it looks like we are. So let's go ahead and hit cancel and enable bot right here. Go ahead and click that and that should enable the bot. The bot assigned to satellite Aholiab Win 10 is now enabled. So go back to the Mac side and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna enable the bot here. And so now both of our bots are enabled. What we wanna do now is because the bots are on, 
Ideally, you have these running on a server somewhere, somewhere that's actually not on the same machine where you've got your queue dashboard. But in this case, for this demo, we have them essentially on the same machine and then one on a virtual machine. So what we're gonna do is just control the data and then the box will pick up whatever is assigned to them and whichever ones are ready. So let's go ahead and every other one here, we are going to assign to Aholiab for processing. So we go to set satellite and we go to Aholiab, win 10 and say yes. These jobs are now assigned to that satellite. But now what we're gonna do is set the render status for this top row all the way down to this one right here to ready. So let's go ahead and just enable all of these guys. And now we're gonna set these to ready. And now we're gonna just watch the magic happen. All of these are ready and then this machine, the Mac, is going to pick up the ones that are assigned to the Mac. You can see the Windows box picked one up and now this Mac picked one up and so on and so forth. So that's how you can get more processing power to process your jobs quicker. So it's similar to how the multi-bot processing works on something like Google Sheets, but with Q, it's a little bit more nuanced in that you assign the jobs to specific satellites rather than just the bot name. So let's just go ahead and let this run its course. And that will be the end of our demonstration of multi-bot processing with DataClay Q. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to click around to learn more and subscribe to our channel so you can learn the latest techniques for automating your video production process. I'm Ari Stefchansky, signing off. Thanks again.